My name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at Loom, a screen recorder that's going to allow you to turn your lessons into online learning experiences. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now a good screen recorder makes all the difference when you are trying to do your teaching online or you're trying to record some videos and presentations and share them with your students. Now Loom has recently announced that forever they will be free for schools, educators and students. So let's have a look at what Loom can do and how it can help you improve your lessons or bring your lessons online. Now the first thing you'll have to do is go into the Chrome Web Store and search for Loom Screen Recorder. You could also just do a Google search for Loom Screen Recorder or Loom Extension. Now I'm going to go into the Chrome Web Store and then I'm going to search for Loom. Once I've found it, all I have to do is click on that Add to Chrome button. You're going to then click on Add Extension and the extension is going to be installed. You'll see there's an extra icon at the top and you now have access to Loom. Now you do still have to sign into Loom. Now once everything's been installed and you're ready to go, simply click on that icon and you'll be asked for some permissions. Go ahead, give it access to your camera and microphone and you're good to go. Now Loom can be used in three different ways. Now you can see here on this screen that my face is right there in the bottom left corner and that's the webcam from the camera on my laptop. Now Loom can use that camera and what you can do now is you can either use a combination of your screen recording and your camera or you can use just the camera or just the screen. Now where do you change that? Well that's in the top right corner. As you can see I now have screen plus camera I can also select the screen only and you can see I now have this photo there down below but you can also remove that don't worry about it and then we can also use the camera only. Now the camera only will turn on that camera and then only record my camera view, only record what the webcam sees and no longer record my screen. So let's say that we want to do a combination of screen and camera and we're going to record our full desktop. Well, what I can do now is I can dive into the advanced settings. So here, show advanced settings, I can change my camera source, I can change the audio source, but I can also add a couple of different things down below. I can have a control menu, and when I tick this off, you can see those controls have disappeared. I can have a countdown, and I can also remove that photograph in the bottom left altogether. So if this is unticked and you select screen only, well then there is no camera in the bottom left corner. That's a question I've often been asked about screen recording with Loom is, can I record my screen and not have a letter, not have an icon, not have a picture? Well, you have to dive into those advanced settings to do that. Now I am going to record screen and camera, so I'm going to leave that on and then I simply press start recording. Now as soon as I press start recording, my computer is going to just double check that I really want to share my entire screen. Now I do want to share that, so I'm going to click on share. As Soon as I click on share, you'll see the countdown. So here we have now three, two, one, and now Loom is recording. So as you can see now, I'm recording myself into the webcam and I'm also presenting my screen. Now everything I do on screen will be part of the Loom video. So I can open up this PDF here. I can scroll down and talk about it to my students and then I can jump back. And then once I've finished recording, well, what I can do then is click on this OK button down below. So I'm going to click the tick and the recording has been finished. Now, Loom brings this into their own platform. So that means that you now have the Loom editor and you can use the Loom editor to edit your video a little bit. You can crop it, give it a title, a description, and then you can share that link with students. Now, one of the benefits of using the Loom environment is that you can also set a password or you can share with select email addresses. What I tend to do though, is I tend to download that file, an MP4 file, and then re-upload it to either YouTube or Google Drive before sharing it with my students. So let's have a look at how that works. We're going to close this welcome screen and we are now in the editor. 
Now the first thing you can do is at the bottom you're going to scroll down and you can title this so we can give this a title. Here it is now currently called My Drive Google Drive because that's the tab that was open. I can change this however into anything I want it to be so I'm going to just type. Now you can see similar to YouTube and any other video platform it will count the unique views and the total views. Now that's because we can share that link here at the top. So we can share a link to the Loom view page. In addition to that, we can change the link sharing. So here I can have it as a public or I can select who sees it. Here I can invite select people and I can even add a password to that video. Now that's something we can't do on Drive or YouTube. So if you do want to add a password or an extra layer of protection, then you stick to Loom. If you're happy to share it on YouTube or Drive, well then you're going to navigate down to the bottom and find this button. This is your download button. As soon as you click that, a mp4 file will be downloaded. Now you can then just re-upload that file to either YouTube or Drive and share it with your students. Another way of sharing things is Google Classroom and you can again use that same file. In addition to that, we can share, delete or duplicate this video. Now sometimes the beginning of a video is a bit messy and the end is messy so we want to trim that video and only share the good part with our students. While in Loom before downloading that video what you can do is you can click on that trim button. Now here the trim will allow you to now manually trim your video. When you're in the trim menu what you're going to be looking for is the areas you want to remove. So everything that will be removed will be red. So here when I click on start trim you can see there's a red area. That red area will be removed from the video. So if you want to remove the beginning all you have to do is drag it to the beginning and then let's say remove the first couple of seconds. Let's say we're removing the first five seconds. Then when I click on remove those will be removed. So we can now preview that and you can see the video starts here. I'm going to stop again because now I want to trim out this section here. I want to get rid of that part and just jump over this section. So we're going to remove that as well. Now when I preview my video you can see it will jump ahead. So we can start here, it starts playing and then it jumps over that section. Now you can trim out multiple sections beginning and middle and then at the end when you're ready to publish your video or to use that final trimmed version of it well then you're going to go to publish changes. This takes a couple of seconds and then once your video is published you can go back to that download button and download that updated video. This allows you then to again upload it to your video platform of choice. Now I hope you found this helpful. If you did dive into the comment section below let me know how you are using Loom and are you using any other screen recorders to create your online lessons. Now I read every single comment and I can't wait to see how you use Loom in your lessons. And then also on the way back up make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be notified of new videos going live. In the meantime have fun teaching online and I thank you for watching.